everybody, so welcome to or back to my channel. If you've never seen this face before, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And in today's video, I am doing a highly requested what's on my iPhone 11. Not sponsored by Apple, but I freaking wish. You've probably seen a million YouTubers do this trend and I don't know why I never did it before. I got the iPhone 11 back when it came out last fall in like October, I think is when I bought it. But as of right now, two days ago, iOS 14 came out. The new widgets, there's new ways to organize your phone. And I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys how I organize my app. I just turned my flashlight on. I thought this would be a good time to show you guys how I organize my apps with iOS 14, what apps I have on my phone, and just what's on my phone. As I slide over and you will see my phone here, you might be noticing, hey, that's a really cute frame, Shauna. Where'd you get that from? Today's sponsor actually sent me this beautiful, aesthetically pleasing frame. So make sure you stay tuned to learn more about it because I am very excited about this sponsorship. I know people usually have like some aesthetically pleasing pinter from Pinterest as their lock screen, but I always make my lock screen my dog. With his life jacket on, on a boat, with a Mike's hard lemonade. Is that even what those drinks are called? I wouldn't know because I don't drink alcohol. Just kidding, we don't, we don't lie. Legal age in Canada is 19 and I'm 20, so no one can come at me except my mother. The first thing when you unlock my phone is the very first home screen. So as you know, with iOS 14, you can now have these widgets. There's three apps that I use for my widgets that I'll get into later when we get to them. The gray top and bottom, I used Widget Smith. You have to pay to get like the weather for it. So I just used it for reminders and the date. What I really like about this app for like the widgets is you can actually change the color of them to literally whatever you want. See like all the different types. You can change the font type. You can change the tint color. You can change the background color. Like you can literally do whatever you want and customize them, which is really cool. I just made mine gray and white because I think that's very aesthetically pleasing. In the middle, I just have the weather, obviously. And the bottom is my reminders, also using the app Widget Smith. I usually just put like school reminders or if I have calls for like the clubs that I'm in or for YouTube, I just throw them in here. So if I tap it, I can just give a little check mark. So for example, I already had my call at 1030 with my club. So I just give that a little check and it'll disappear when I go back. My home screen is literally a white brick wall with plants. It's not that exciting. Um, I found it on Pinterest. So the next screen is probably my favorite. And of course that's the photo in the bottom left corner. The next widget app I use is called Color Widgets. And it's just to get a really cute battery percentage, time and date. You can change the font and like whatever color you want. So I chose this cute little yellow one in this very like chic looking font. And I have another weather widget just so I don't have to flip back and forth. And then for the third widget, on the bottom left, I use this app called Photo Widget, and you can add 10 photos and then it'll cycle through the photos. So to match the kind of yellow theme I have for this page, I went on Pinterest and just looked for a bunch of quotes that are like in warm yellows. So every 10 minutes, I'll have like a new quote in the bottom corner of my phone, which is really nice to just glance at. But the other ones I have were like, choose happy, live life in warm yellows, don't worry about things you can't control, everything is all right. So now into the actual apps because the widgets are over. So in the bottom, as you can see, I have my messages. I'm not gonna open them because, yeah, not trying to expose my text. And then I just use Google Chrome to Google because I don't like Safari. Um, I was looking at some vegan sport protein. That was the last thing I Googled. I have the phone app and then I have Spotify on the bottom. So now going back to the top, I got settings. Everyone knows what that is. My contacts, FaceTime notes, mail, and Gmail. I don't know why I don't just put everything in one app. Basically, I use the mail app for my Hotmail accounts because it's more like my personal accounts that I use for work and stuff. And then my Gmail is a mix of my school and my YouTube email. So I kind of separate personal and work slash school in email apps. I know I can do it all in one app, but I'm just extra and I like both of them. So photos and camera, pretty straightforward. And then I have Google Maps. Oh, don't expose my location. And I have Google Calendar, which is my favorite calendar app. I kind of only use it for like school and my classes, scheduling my day by hour. I really like to use Google Calendar. I also always have my phone in night mode. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time. How do you even switch it back? Oh, that's bright. Wow, okay. White, no, 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 no. So anything that's in like the pink, yellow, blue, and purple are my classes. We love engineering. We love how busy our schedule is. And then the light green teal color is like other things that I have that's not school related. So like I had a FaceTime call, I had a club call, um, and then I have podcasts. The only podcast I actually stay up to date with 
is like views, call me candid, and anything goes. The rest of them I kind of just like, if I have time, listen to them, and then I have the app store. So the second screen I organized with this technique called shelving. I heard it from Sadie Aldis, I think, when I was watching her What's On My iPhone video, and I actually really, really like it. I don't like when all of the apps are out, but I also don't really like folders, because I feel like it just, I'm so extra, but it takes me that extra second to open the folder, it's just like, like no. So basically how the shelving technique works to organize your phone is you group things by category so for example if we look at the top photo um, you take out the top three apps that you use the most out of that category and then the rest of the apps that you don't really use that much you put them in the folder on the left and then you name that folder what that row or what that shelf is called if that makes sense instead of starting at the top I'm actually gonna jump into the third shelf which is watch I got YouTube obviously YouTube. I have YouTube Studio. It's a really good way to look at the analytics for YouTube videos. This is where I reply to all of my comments and heart them. Um, and then I have Disney Plus because we love watching Lilo and Stitch on repeat. And then if I open up the folder on the left side, we got Mural. So now I'm going to talk about the Mural Wi-Fi photo frame, which you've probably been wondering about this entire video. So the Mural Wi-Fi photo frame is a brand new digital photo frame with photo viewing features and invites family and friends to share photos instantly to the device. There's also this thing called the Mural Membership where you have access to premium photography that can be displayed on the frame and this device allows loved ones to stay connected instantly. So the app on my phone is actually connected to the photo frame. I can adjust the brightness so I can turn the brightness all the way up or I can turn it all the way down. And right now I just have this cute little subscribe button that I found on Pinterest, saved on my phone and then send it to the frame. So what I really love about the Mural Wi-Fi photo frame is that I can literally change the picture to whatever I feel like I'm not just stuck with a framed picture that I can't change and then I have a playlist just called happy where I just have a couple pictures that make me happy like pictures of my friends my family my dog so for example if I switch over to this playlist I called happy I can just hit send on my phone I'll send it to the canvas and then boom yeah so I have it set so that the image duration only lasts 30 seconds and it'll change to the next photo and if I want something different that's not my own pictures there's an entire discovery tab here on the app you can put different types of artwork and it actually has a really cool swiping feature where you can swipe and it will show you some information about the artwork which is really cool it's a crystal clear 15.6 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. There's an anti-glare IPS screen. So there's actually over 30,000 pieces of artwork that you can discover on the Mural app. There's also an auto sync option so you can easily upload, crop, and showcase photos in the fullest, richest detail. There's also an auto sync option so you can link photo albums on your phone to your frame which is really cool. There's also a video playback option, so you can show clips on your frame up to 15 seconds per video. It's very simple, easy to use, so you can instantly share life's cherished moments and discover a world of art straight from your mural Wi-Fi photo frame. Direct links to get the mural Wi-Fi photo frame will be linked down below, so make sure you guys go check them out in the description box. I highly recommend, so many times my mom has mentioned when we have company over, she's literally gonna steal it out of my room and put it in the kitchen or in the living room so she can show it off to all her friends and show pictures like from trips and things. My whole family is obsessed with this frame. They're all trying to steal it from my room so they can display it out when we have company over. Right now I just have it leaning landscape on my nightstand, but you can also have it leaning vertical or it actually comes with a mount to put on the wall and you can put it vertical or horizontal on your wall. So thank you so much Mural for sponsoring today's video and sending me your Mural Wi-Fi photo frame. So back to my shelving, um, as I talked about the photo apps, we've got Visco, you probably all know what Visco is. My account is Shauna Diaz if you want to follow it. It's what I use to edit all of my Instagram pictures and I just post things for fun on there. Next I got Pinterest, my Pinterest is Shauna Diaz if you want to follow it. I like to find outfit inspo, I post my own things on here. Yeah, I kind of just go there for inspiration. And then I have Unfold, which is a really cool app that my sister showed me where I use to make my Instagram stories. Stories. For example, this was my last Instagram story. I kind of just put the thumbnail three times. There's different frames that you can use, which I really like, and they're all aesthetically pleasing. So I have no idea how I completely missed the entire photo folder, and I feel really bad about it, so I'm gonna go through it hella fast. So, Facetune 2. Um, I've never used it to actually Facetune a picture. I've only ever used it to turn my hair red for a YouTube video, but I do not support Facetuning your Instagram pictures because it's hella obvious when you do. 
you know who you are and then i have canon camera connect which is literally just an app to connect my phone to my camera so i can directly transfer the pictures from my camera to my phone which is really helpful um i have the gopro app so i can see what my gopro is recording live or i can also like retrieve the footage right to my phone i have lightroom which is just an adobe software to edit pictures and stuff it's really good for correcting lighting and then i have pixart which i sometimes use for my instagram stories to add like text and cool fonts and lighting and fun stuff okay cool sorry i missed this whole folder i'm a bad youtuber but i love you the next app that i have is just called socials so i have instagram and we all know what instagram is i'm gonna just plug myself the whole video shauna diaz that's my instagram and then i have tiktok can't dance but i try for fun and it's a fun app i probably spend too much time on tiktok and then i have snapchat 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 what's up snapchat yeah i just have streaks with my friends on this um and then the rest in the little socials folder that i have here is facebook and messenger i don't really use any of those i only use messenger for school that's where all the group chats are for my program i guess i have twitter uh follow my twitter if you want it's also shauna diaz almost everything shauna diaz except my snapchat what even is my snapchat my snapchat is just shauna underscore nine because i made it when i was like 12. i'm um, back to twitter i rarely ever used twitter when was the last time i used twitter in july um and then i have reddit if you know you know i kind of use it for research and funny memes so yeah and then i have microsoft teams which i just use for school because that's what all my professors use to run classes and stuff so i'm not going to open that and then in the middle i added a widget so i feel like by having the screen time just smack dab in the middle right next to all my social medias it kind of just reminds me to not spend so much time on my phone and i can monitor it more so for today i've already spent half an hour on messages because i was texting people I spent 15 minutes on Instagram, 8 on TikTok, and 4 on Snapchat. That's not that bad. It's only been 2 hours for today, and it's already 2 o'clock. Um, I don't even want to know my average screen time for the week. My daily average is almost 5 hours, which is so bad. I'm really trying to cut it down to like at least 3, and then from there go to 2, and then I don't know if I could ever hit 1 hour, but we'll see. Yeah, look at that. Most used TikTok, 8 and a half hours on TikTok. We are ashamed of that but going back into my watch folder i have the mural app as i talked about i have amazon alexa if you have an alexa this is just the app to control it and just set some features and whatever whatever i have chromecast because it's the app just to have a chromecast not that exciting um and then i have google home to control my other google products um and then i have finance because we're now a young adult and we have some finances, very fun stuff. I have the wallet app. Can I even open it without exposing things? I can't really open my wallet app without showing a bunch of my account numbers, but that's basically where I have like my credit card and my debit card and a bunch of like point collectors, like scene points, my Tim Hortons cards, my Starbucks cards, whatever, it's all in the wallet app there. I can also access it from like my lock screen. Um, I have my banks, BMO and TV. And in the folder, I just named it finance. I have PayPal. I don't use PayPal like between like friends and stuff. I use that for like work, like for YouTube when I get paid for videos and stuff. It's usually through PayPal. I have Quest Trade. I, mm, no, I'm not gonna open Quest Trade. But basically it's an online trading platform for like stocks and stuff. So I'm trying to learn how to invest my money. And then I have Yahoo Finance. Basically, it's just to track the market because, as I said, I'm trying to learn more about stocks. It's really complicated and it hurts my head, but we're trying here. So now my last and final page are just random ass apps that I kind of need, don't use it often, but kind of need still. So using the widgets from iOS 14, you can also have like your notes app out. Things that I track, like a little things to do list or some YouTube stuff I need to work on or pay like from work or whatever. I just have my notes there. I'm not going to open it. And as I said, these are apps that I like need on my phone, but don't like need to look at all the time. So that's why they're in all of the mini folders. If you're a girl, you already know I track my period on this app. So I know when it comes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every girl has this app or an app like this on their phone. And if you don't get one, it helps so much. So you know when your period's coming so yeah fun fact my period's gonna come in 23 days um i have the health app it says i haven't had a period in 338 days which is not true i only use it for the sleep app i schedule my sleep so i go to bed at 11 and wake up at 8 and i can track how much i slept in like my average sleep schedule so i meant to wake up at 8 but i woke up at 8 40 and then you can kind of track like your average time in bed 
<laughs> that's really sexual. And then I just have LA Fitness, which is like the gym I go to. This is just for like my membership card, so I just scan my phone when I go in. The next folder is food. Pretty straightforward. It's where I order food, even though I shouldn't be ordering food. I don't use it that much. I have Tim Hortons, Starbucks, Uber Eats, Real Fruit, DoorDash. I'm not gonna get into them because they're just for ordering food. I have a little music app. I have an app to tune my guitar, an app to tune my ukulele, and then I have Shazam. I really love this app. If you hear a song and you want to know what it's called, you just tap to Shazam and then it listens to the song and then it'll tell you what song it is. So that's really cool. I used to have so many games on my phone just because like I was so bored all the time, but I cut it down. I have Clash of Clans. If you guys want me to join your clan, literally comment your clan tag down below if you play Clash of Clans. You guys want to see my Clash base? Oh my god. I've been playing this since like grade 10 of high school. I don't really play it that much. I'm pretty sure all my collectors, yep, all my collectors are full. I don't even know what clan I'm in right now. I just joined random ones so I can request for troops. And then I have bowls. It's a, okay, it's a really dumb game, but I like to play it in class when I'm not paying attention because I'm a great student. Um, but you just hit the balls like that. Anyways, okay, and then I have Mario Kart, but we won't get into that. Those are the only games I have on my phone. Um, and then I have a thing called Job. I'm not like actively looking for jobs, but when I'm looking for co-ops for school, I use either Indeed, LinkedIn, or like what my school provides or whatever. But I have Indeed, if you don't know, it's basically just to look for job postings. Um, and then I have LinkedIn. Do I want to show my LinkedIn profile? Not really, it's kind of personal. But it's like an online resume and like you can add connection that's more work related professionally and like not for YouTube like I use it for my school and like engineering and stuff then I have this one called clouds but these are all the online drives <laughs> that I use um, for school or just for backing up my phone I have one drive which is like hotmail or Microsoft I guess I got Google Drive which is Google I have Google Docs which I use a lot for school and then I have Google photos and I feel like not a lot of people know about Google photos so let me put you on it basically um, backs up your phone for you which is really great while wow, local screen recordings from making this video, but it'll automatically back up your entire phone to the cloud for free and it's really nice. So definitely recommend. We're slowly getting towards the end. So then I have a folder called shop, which is obviously where I spend all my money, where I should honestly delete the whole entire app or folder, but I don't. So I got Amazon. Poshmark, this is where I buy and sell old clothes. I've only bought in like two things off, maybe three, but I like to sell my old clothes on there. So if you want to buy some of my old clothes, my Poshmark is Shauna Diaz with two Zs at the end. Be sustainable, we love being sustainable. I have a Zaffle app, but I haven't used it in like forever. I should probably delete it. We don't want to support fast fashion anymore. More. I have Urban Outfitters because I like to buy their room decor <laughs> and home decor. Kijiji, which is like selling things locally, I guess. PetSmart, because I like to spend all my money on my dog. Then I have Grailed. I've never bought anything for myself on Grailed, but I have for other people. So I mean, basically you can find really, really cool shoes and clothing on Grailed. It's all like real authentic brands, but people like resell it. For app, I don't really use that much, only when I need like skincare and I haven't bought new makeup in like over a year. Year, so and then I have Depop. I haven't bought anything off Depop or sold anything on Depop because Depop kind of scares me I really like Poshmark better. I feel like there's so many Depop horror stories So I just stay out of it Then I have the Cineplex app because I love to watch movies and I buy the movie tickets on there And then Airbnb when I go on little vacays with the friends or family So last and definitely the least important folder on my phone is literally just called random because it's random ass stuff so I have this app called MapQuest, which is basically like a map of my school. So you can search up the room number that say you have an exam or just like a class in there and it'll show you how to get there to this on campus. But obviously I'm not on campus right now because Corona, so it's kind of relevant right now. Presto is basically like just a tap, like when I go on the bus or the train or whatever and I can load money on my Presto card and find my iPhone, measuring compass, voice memos. QRS Mobile is for just the router in my room, not important iTunes, Translate, not that important stuff. Here's the whole entire app library, which is new with iOS 14. This isn't like an iOS 14 review, but basically, if you don't want the app actually on your home screen, you can delete it from there, but still keep it in your app library. So for example, I have all of like the widget apps that I just got, like color widget, photo widget, those ones. I still want them on my phone so I can use the widget apps, but I don't want the icons anywhere. So you can just throw it in your app library, which is really cool. And that is everything on my iPhone. So yeah, oh, coming back in the middle here. I just cracked my back. Ow, I've been recording for so long. These videos take so long to record. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your favorite app to have on your phone or your iPad or whatever you have. And maybe we can find out some new apps because why not?
Thank you again, Mural, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys go check out the description box. Find all the information on this awesome frame behind me that you've seen this entire video. It's very personal and customizable, and that's my favorite thing ever. I love things that I can customize to feel like me and represent me in my room. Here are today's shoddy shoutouts for this video. Thank you guys so much for your love and support and your DMs and your comments. And maybe in future videos, I can use your guys' like comments and DMs and edits and have them playing in the background of my videos using the Miro Wi-Fi photo frame. That would be so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!